What if I told you that your DNA could hold the secrets of one of the greatest ancient civilizations in history? Imagine discovering that the stories of Minoan palaces, Mycenaean warriors, and even Alexander the Great are more than just myths. They are written into the very fabric of your being. Today, we're diving deep into the mysteries of Greek DNA. Scientists have unlocked hidden genetic connections that link modern Greeks to their ancient ancestors. But here's the twist. The findings reveal much more than just a shared past. They uncover surprising stories of migrations, intermarriage, and a cultural legacy that stretches back over 4,000 years. Have you ever wondered how much of who you are is shaped by the past? Or what ancient secrets lie hidden in your DNA? By the end of this journey, you'll not only understand the fascinating history of Greek ancestry, but also how science is reshaping everything we thought we knew about the people who shaped Western civilization. So, get ready to explore the untold truths about the Mycenaeans, Minoans, and the genetic threads that tie them to the modern world. This isn't just history. It's a living, breathing legacy. And you won't believe what we've uncovered. Stay tuned, because this is just the beginning of the story. For centuries, the ancient Greeks have been celebrated for their monumental contributions to art, philosophy, and politics. But beneath the surface of their legendary history lies a question that has puzzled scholars and enthusiasts alike. Who were the ancient Greeks, really? And how do modern Greeks connect to their illustrious past? Thanks to advancements in DNA research, we now have groundbreaking answers. In 2017, a team of scientists from institutions like Harvard and the University of Washington conducted a pivotal study. By analyzing the genetic material from ancient Mycenaeans, Minoans, and early farmers of Greece, they uncovered fascinating truths that redefined what we know about Greek ancestry. Their findings revealed that the Mycenaeans, those storied warriors of Homeric epics, shared around 75% of their DNA with the Minoans, the advanced civilization of Crete famous for its labyrinthine palaces and vibrant frescoes. But here's where things get even more intriguing. Modern Greeks carry up to 80% of their genetic material from these ancient ancestors. That's right, despite centuries of invasions, migrations, and cultural upheavals, the genetic imprint of the Mycenaeans and Minoans remains largely intact in today's Greek population. Why does this matter? Well, it's more than just a link to history. It's proof of resilience, continuity, and the enduring legacy of a civilization that shaped the world. Understanding these connections helps us see history not just as something distant and abstract, but as a living story carried forward in the very DNA of a people. And yet, this research didn't stop at confirming Greek ancestry. It opened up a much larger window into ancient migrations, human mobility, and how cultures interacted across vast distances. What you'll discover next will challenge everything you thought you knew about the origins of Greek civilization and the unexpected places those ancient threads lead. The Mycenaeans and the Minoans, two of the most iconic civilizations in ancient history. But what do they share beyond their breathtaking art, monumental architecture, and mythological legacies? As it turns out, they share something much deeper, their DNA. Through groundbreaking genetic research, scientists have uncovered that the Mycenaeans, who dominated mainland Greece during the Bronze Age, and the Minoans, who thrived on Crete, were not just cultural neighbors but genetic kin. Both groups inherited nearly three-quarters of their ancestry from early Anatolian farmers, people who first brought agriculture to Europe. These shared roots tie them to a broader narrative of human migration and innovation during the Neolithic era. But here's where things get fascinating. While the Minoans remained genetically closer to their Anatolian ancestors, the Mycenaeans carried something extra. About 4 to 16 percent of their DNA came from people of Eastern European or Siberian steppe origin. This infusion of northern ancestry may have come from the very migrations that shaped much of Europe during the Bronze Age, when nomadic steppe herders expanded across the continent, leaving their mark on populations as far west as Greece. This genetic distinction aligns with archaeological evidence. The Minoans are often seen as a seafaring, insular society while the Mycenaeans were warriors, venturing far beyond their borders, engaging in trade, and, at times, conquest. Their DNA tells a story of connection and divergence, one civilization shaped by the sea, the other by the land. Even more fascinating is how these ancient genetic threads persist today. Modern Greeks carry an unmistakable imprint of Mycenaean and Minoan ancestry, showing a remarkable continuity despite centuries of cultural and political change. 
This discovery not only cements the Greeks' direct link to these legendary civilizations, but also sheds light on how migration and interconnectivity influenced the very foundations of ancient Greek society. And yet, these genetic insights only scratch the surface. As scientists delve deeper, they are uncovering links that go far beyond the Aegean. Who were the other people the Mycenaeans and Minoans interacted with? What secrets lie in the genetic traces left behind by their neighbors, allies, and rivals? The next chapter takes us into the wider Mediterranean and beyond, exploring the interconnected world of the ancient Greeks. The Aegean has long been described as a crossroads of civilizations, and the DNA of its ancient inhabitants tells a story just as intricate as the myths and legends born on its shores. But how do the ancient Greeks fit into this larger genetic tapestry? The answer is even more complex, and more fascinating, than you might expect. For centuries, the Aegean has been a melting pot, where cultures collided, traded, and shared ideas. Genetic evidence reveals that ancient Greeks inherited their ancestry from a rich blend of sources, early Anatolian farmers, eastern steppe herders, and even populations from the Caucasus. This mosaic of influences paints a vivid picture of how interconnected the ancient world really was. But there's more. DNA studies have revealed surprising connections between the Greeks and their Mediterranean neighbors. The Mycenaeans and Minoans were closely related to other Bronze Age populations, including those in the Levant and the Eastern Mediterranean. This makes sense when you consider the thriving trade networks that linked Crete, mainland Greece, and regions like modern-day Turkey and Egypt. Goods like pottery, metal, and olive oil weren't the only things traveling along these routes. People were, too. And then there's the surprising role of warfare. Recent studies show that Greek armies weren't just composed of local soldiers but included mercenaries from places as far-flung as northern Europe and the Eurasian steppe. Take the soldiers who fought at Himera in Sicily. Genetic evidence shows that while some were of Greek descent, others carried DNA from Central and Eastern Europe. It's a vivid reminder that even in times of conflict, the ancient world was deeply interconnected. But let's not stop there. When we broaden the lens to include the genetic legacy of other Mediterranean cultures, the links become even more intriguing. For example, Phoenicians, renowned as seafarers and traders, left their genetic mark across the region, including parts of Greece. Similarly, evidence of interactions with Egyptian and Anatolian populations highlights the exchange of not just goods but also genes. Yet, for all these influences, the core of the Greek genetic identity remains distinct. Modern Greeks retain a significant portion of DNA from their Mycenaean and Minoan ancestors, a continuity that's nothing short of remarkable given the countless waves of migration and conquest that have swept through the region. What this tells us is clear. The Greeks were not isolated. They were shaped by their environment, their neighbors, and their interactions with the wider world. Their DNA is a testament to the diversity and resilience of human populations in one of history's most vibrant regions. And so, the question arises, what other secrets might the DNA of the Aegean still hold? As we dig deeper into the genetic archives of ancient civilizations, new connections are bound to emerge, links that could change our understanding of not just the Greeks, but the entire Mediterranean. The connection between modern Greeks and their ancient ancestors is a topic that has fascinated scholars, scientists, and history enthusiasts alike. What can DNA tell us about this link? It turns out, quite a lot. Recent studies have shown that modern Greeks share around 70-80% to 80 of their DNA with the Mycenaeans, those legendary Bronze Age builders of fortified cities and carriers of epic traditions. This remarkable continuity is even more impressive when you consider the centuries of invasions, migrations, and empires that have left their mark on Greece. Despite these external influences, the core genetic identity of the Greeks has remained strikingly intact. What's behind this enduring genetic heritage? It all starts with the first farmers who settled in the region thousands of years ago. These early agriculturalists, who migrated from Anatolia, brought not only their farming techniques but also the genetic foundation of what would become the Greek population. Later, the Mycenaeans and Minoans added their unique layers to this genetic legacy, weaving together influences from the east and north into what we now recognize as the genetic blueprint of the Greeks. But how has this heritage survived the test of time? During the Roman and Byzantine periods, Greece became a crossroads of empires, drawing in people from across the Mediterranean and beyond. The Slavic migrations in the early Middle Ages, the Venetian and Frankish occupations, 
and the long Ottoman rule each left their own subtle imprints on the genetic tapestry. Yet, remarkably, these influences did not erase the Mycenaean core. Instead, they added nuance. For instance, genetic studies have detected small traces of Slavic and Middle Eastern ancestry in modern Greeks, reflecting the diverse peoples who passed through or settled in the region. But these contributions are minor compared to the overwhelmingly Mycenaean foundation that remains evident today. What's even more striking is how this genetic continuity aligns with cultural and linguistic heritage. The Greek language, one of the oldest continuously spoken languages in the world, has its roots in the Mycenaean Linear B script. Even today, certain words and linguistic structures can be traced back thousands of years, offering a parallel story to the one told by DNA. Yet, while the genetic and linguistic ties are clear, it's important to remember that identity is more than just a biological inheritance. The resilience of Greek culture, its art, philosophy, and traditions, has played an equally crucial role in preserving a sense of connection to the ancient past. From the ruins of Mycenae to the bustling streets of modern Athens, the echoes of history are everywhere. So, what does this tell us about the Greeks of today? They are not just the heirs of an ancient genetic lineage. They are the living embodiment of a civilization that has evolved, adapted, and thrived through millennia. Their DNA may connect them to the Mycenaeans, but it's their enduring spirit that truly carries forward the legacy of ancient Greece. As science continues to uncover the secrets of our DNA, one thing is clear. The story of the Greeks is not just a tale of continuity. It's a celebration of resilience, adaptability, and the enduring power of identity. The story of Greek DNA is not just about continuity. It's also about movement, connection, and the shared human experience. The latest research has uncovered surprising truths about how migration and trade shaped the genetic identity of the Greek people, blending the local with the global in ways that reflect the complexity of their history. One of the most intriguing discoveries is the role of migration during the Bronze Age. As we've seen, the Mycenaeans and Minoans inherited most of their DNA from early Anatolian farmers, but they also carried traces of ancestry from the Caucasus and the steppes of Eastern Europe. These genetic signatures suggest waves of migration that brought new ideas, technologies, and cultural influences into the Aegean, laying the foundations for what would become Greek civilization. Fast forward to the classical period, and we find Greece at the center of a vibrant Mediterranean world. Trade networks connected Greek city-states to Egypt, the Near East, and even as far as Iberia. This era of cultural exchange wasn't just about goods like olive oil and pottery. It also brought people from distant lands into Greek society. DNA evidence from colonies like Himera in Sicily reveals a melting pot of ancestries, with soldiers, traders, and settlers arriving from across Europe, North Africa, and the Near East. What's particularly fascinating is the role of mercenaries in spreading genes and ideas. In battles like those at Himera, genetic data shows that many soldiers were not native Greeks but came from regions as far-flung as the Baltic and the Eurasian steppe. These men fought, lived, and sometimes settled in Greek colonies, contributing their DNA to the local population. It's a reminder that the Greek world wasn't as insular as we might imagine. It was deeply interconnected with the wider ancient world. But these migrations and exchanges weren't just one-way streets. Greeks themselves were travelers, explorers, and colonizers. From the Black Sea to North Africa, they established settlements that brought Greek culture and Greek genes to new regions. Even today, genetic traces of Greek ancestry can be found in places where Greek colonies once flourished, echoing the reach of their ancient civilization. Yet, amidst this flux, a strong sense of identity endured. Greek culture, language, and traditions acted as anchors, preserving a shared sense of belonging even as the population became more diverse. This balance of continuity and change is what makes the Greek story so compelling. It's a testament to how identity can be both rooted and fluid, shaped by both heritage and experience. So, what can we learn from these genetic revelations? They remind us that the Greeks were never isolated. Their civilization thrived because it was open, open to new ideas, new people, and new connections. And in a world that often emphasizes divisions, this story of interconnection and shared heritage feels more relevant than ever. Greek DNA doesn't just reveal where they came from. It shows how they embraced the world, weaving their story into the larger tapestry of human history.
it's a story of movement, exchange, and the enduring power of identity to transcend borders and time.